Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron for the Twitter for this Friday edition of Basic Sorgonomics. And uh, this is a new technology I just uh, came across uh, uh, this week that I, I'm very excited about trying out. Maybe this is your replacement for Google Hangout. Maybe if 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 you're you you have trouble. Actually, you know what? This might be very much a replacement for Google Hangouts for for broadcasting. Uh, maybe not if you want to do a podcast, but for for broadcasting in general, a live stream. We talked about yesterday about the Beam app and how ethereal and, and it just goes away after you're done with it. And we're used to that with Snapchat, but maybe you just want to stream and talk and have fun there. It's called uh, Blab. Wonderful names coming out lately for apps, isn't it? Uh, Blab.im, if you want to check it out. It's officially in beta. And if I have my details right on this, um, it's not going to work in every browser right off the bat. It's using a video um, called WebRTC, which is a new open standard. And I believe that is compatible in both Firefox and Chrome. You may have some trouble if you're in another browser. So give that a shot. But if you, you go, it, it's actually very, very simple. I was, I was rocking and rolling in, in no time. Uh, so you go in here and you actually log in with your Twitter. Very, very, very dependent on your Twitter account, much like uh, Periscope and, and originally Meerkat was. And you're in. You're good to go. You can start a new Blab. And, oh, what are we going to talk about? We're going to test. Oh, this will be fun. Um, category of Blab. We'll do technology. Let's do it now. And we're going to go ahead and start a Blab. My, uh, my, my webcam is going to pop up here. And uh, let's see, we're going to allow my camera and microphone. And we are live on Blab. And we have a seat open for anyone who wants it. And and we're rolling. We're rocking and rolling. It's that easy. I hadn't, I hadn't even opened this on this browser on this computer yet. And, and we're good to go. And make, people can find me on the website. It's just me right now. Uh, we and, and that's it. We'll get this before we get some unfortunate viewers that are going to be very confused as we're not really talking to them. But uh, but if you go to uh, somebody who's already blabbing, we have this uh, My First Blab with New Friends, Real Talk for Success. And they're hanging out here, and they have a little... Uh, uh, you can give feels, you know, much like tapping on Periscope and you give the hearts. We can give the feels, and now my face is popping up. So now you know who's given the feels. And... Uh, have a little fun there and, and you see the numbers are popping up there and you also have uh twitter people popping in you see when i join you see people commenting and i'm wondering if that's popping over to twitter itself you also do have a twitter feed of linking to this blab to see what people are saying about it on the left really nice really integrative uh you can see the faces across the top again really familiar if you're you're playing with uh periscope or meerkat there's a lot going on that you're going to feel like you're in the right world here so what do we do with this what are we doing with this new technology well i'm not doing anything yet this is really the first i've i've, I've done much with it oh oh uh actually before i get into that there you can also use this on your iphone there is a beta Go to blab.im on your iPhone. Use Safari. Don't use Chrome. I was having Chrome crash on me. And uh, you log in. I think you log in with your Twitter, and it will uh, ask you permissions. And it'll, there's this interesting thing where they'll actually bypass the App Store, and they'll install the app right on your phone. Um, typically, if you're at a site that you're not familiar with, and you get that kind of action going on, I would not follow through because you're uh, giving up some security to somebody you'd, you may not trust. But um, this app, uh, yeah, I've seen it in enough places. I think it's legit enough, and it's just doing video. Uh, so go ahead and do that, and it's going to go through and say, hey, we're going to ask for a lot of permissions. And you open it up, and much like the interface you're seeing here, it pops in. A little bit of weird stuff. When I open a video, I don't really know how to leave a video and back out into the interface without just closing the app. If you're familiar with iOS, you double click on the home button and you slide up and it, and it goes away, right? And then you just reopen and start from scratch. So again, it's a beta. I think it's one of those early things. Um, of course, you can just use your phone to join from there. I haven't seen a video quality on this that sucked. <laughs> to be honest, of the bits that I've seen. Um, and it always seems like Google Hangout has been um, odd from time to time. Uh, so, so you know, depending on what's going on on the other end, this just picks up. Now, I don't know what happens when you're like, I have multiple inputs, what's going on? How do I pick what uh, 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 camera, if I have multiple attached, which microphone, if I have multiple attached, it just kind of, it just kind of works for now. And, you know, it always just kind of works. Um, it, always, it always just kind of works until it doesn't. Oh, here's another thing that I just realized with this, you actually are recording this. 
So now I'm wondering, because uh, one, one trick I love doing with Google Hangout, uh, Google Hangout's been really good for us for uh, starting new podcasts with the, I don't want to say the technolo- technological illiterate, but like the, the low end, I don't want all this stuff to start a podcast, right? I don't want to know how to, I don't want to know all this. I just want to get on and talk. So that's led to with wrestling mayhem show, for instance, a lot of new shows starting because the guys are able to just go in, do a Google hangout. It's right on YouTube and they're able to, I'm able to download that thing, put it on Facebook video, put it on MP3 for iTunes. And that's really helped expand that audience and make new content easily with a lot of people that don't have the ability to do a soundboard, this computer here, that computer there, and, and tie all this stuff together like we are in a podcast studio that we've spent years and years really kind of building and fine-tuning a little bit. So what can happen here? Now, I'm wondering, again, I haven't gotten in too much. I need to experiment a little bit more, but there are, uh, looks like, uh, looks like, it looks like they're recording them, but I, I'm not sure what they're doing with them. If Flab FM has a mechanism that they are recording and I have a way to download that thing, then that's going to replace that. Again, I really think it's easier. If you've ever uh, tried getting somebody on Google Hangout that's never had a Google Plus account before, it can be a little difficult. Well, do you have a Google account? Okay, have you have you gone to plus.google.com and activated the Google Plus side of your account? Okay, okay, okay. Now you're going to need this plugin. Okay, okay. And now now, now you need to make sure this, this, and this works. Uh, this, again, uh, do you have a Twitter account? Maybe that's another hurdle. Maybe the people you're talking to and you're trying to interview don't have a Twitter account. Okay, that can be a little rough too. But in certain worlds, uh, it, it might be easier. Maybe that's the thing. Maybe you, you, maybe we get to this point where you ask, all right, all right, are you familiar with Google Plus? All right, all right, are you familiar with Twitter? You know, as long as they don't strike out on both sides of those, you're good to go on this kind of thing. Um, you can also schedule things. So maybe this is something where we start pulling people in, and this is how we start doing a podcast um, on our side. We, it, it, I, I don't know because like you know I'm looking at this live streaming for business and uh, they're starting in nine hours and 46 minutes at the, at, the, at this point and uh, I, I don't know it's 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 a lot there's a lot of opportunity going on here um, they seem to uh, you know again discover this at the end of Mac break weekly they, they've been playing with this and and they've been talking about this idea of uh, you know kind of finding the next talk show talking head kind of situation here because it is again very very open anybody can pop into this you know which means a lot of stuff is probably going to suck but uh if you pop in there and you can get some good conversation going you can probably uh, gain a gain a following pretty quick and 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 build on that so um so go check it out it's blab.im um i i'm playing with some ideas i i'm seeing if i can get everybody on board unfortunately it's only limited to four people and we usually have more than that sometimes on, on some of our hangouts that we, we, we have fun with. Um, so I'm kind of wondering what we can do there. Uh, but I kind of want to see about maybe we just kind of sit around and watch Raw together as we do already on, on Monday nights. And uh, But we broadcast it and people can comment as we go and watch it along with us. Uh, that's one idea because I know I think there's some people that might want to get involved in our communities with the Wrestling Mayhem show. But maybe they don't want to take the time to get on a webcam and hang out and and do that whole thing but they might be interested in the conversation that's happening so playing with that idea maybe during other live events maybe maybe something like that maybe we take some time and say hey let's just do it this way let's uh you know maybe this is something where i pop in and say hey everybody let's talk about Boom, let's talk about X, right? And uh, the cool thing is, because the way I have everything set up in the studio here, I can pull it up like this. I can kick on the audio portion of of this uh, computer, and we can record this thing. And we can completely um, um, turn this into part of another podcast um, or do some of that. But again, I'm kind of adding layers of technology on layers of technology. What do you? What would you do with something like this? Uh, do you have any ideas? Do you have? Uh, uh, have you popped in on this yet? Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Hit me up at Sorgatron on the Twitter comments or wherever you find this video or or or, or on Sorgatron.com and uh, blab.im. Check it out. We'll see you guys next week. Have a good weekend. You'll see me. We'll be streaming live.sorgatronmedia.com for Chachi Plays for Kids. Uh, All weekend long, not all weekend, 7 p.m. Friday night to 7 p.m. Saturday Eastern Time. Please uh, leave a donation at chachiplays.com. It's for some great, great arts programs 
for underprivileged kids in the area. We're already more than halfway to our goal. Uh, very cool. Very, very cool. It's going to be a fun time. I'm going to catch you on the videos, and we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.